Can solar panels really power an air conditioner? It sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? After all, air conditioners are notorious for being some of the most energy-hungry appliances in your home. Yet, with the right setup, you can keep your home cool using nothing but the power of the sun and save a fortune on electricity bills. But here's the catch. It's not as straightforward as slapping a few panels on your roof. Between calculating energy demand, understanding how solar systems work, and accounting for things like sunlight hours and battery storage, the answer to this question can get pretty complex. That's why in this video, we're diving deep into the calculations to figure out exactly how many solar panels you need to power an air conditioner. We'll also explore real-life examples, tips to maximize efficiency, and the best strategies to keep your system affordable. Stick around to the end because the numbers might surprise you. And trust me, by the time we're done, you'll know exactly how to design a solar-powered cooling solution that works for you. And hey, if you're passionate about saving money and exploring the potential of solar energy, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips just like this. Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. Air conditioners consume a ton of energy. Even a small window unit can use 500 to 1,000 watts, while larger central air systems can draw 3,000 watts or more. Over the course of a hot summer day, running an air conditioner for eight hours can easily use up to 24,000 watt hours of electricity. For comparison, that's 10 times the daily energy consumption of a typical refrigerator. Now, imagine offsetting that entire energy cost with solar panels. Not only would you cut down on your electricity bills, but you'd also reduce your carbon footprint, making your home more sustainable. The idea is both exciting and challenging. And it all starts with understanding your air conditioner's energy needs and how much power your solar panels can generate. To figure out how many solar panels you'll need, the first step is calculating the total energy demand of your air conditioner. Let's break it down with an example. Suppose you have a 1.5-ton split air conditioner, a common size for many homes. A 1.5-ton unit typically consumes around 1,500 watts per hour when it's running. If you run it for 8 hours a day, that's 12,000 watt-hours of energy per day. But here's the thing. Air conditioners don't run continuously. They cycle on and off to maintain a set temperature. So the actual energy use might be closer to 70% of the maximum. That brings the daily consumption down to around 8.4 kilowatt hours. This is the number we'll use to determine how many solar panels you need to generate enough energy to power the AC unit entirely. Now, let's talk about solar panels. The energy a solar panel produces depends on its wattage and the number of peak sunlight hours in your area. A standard 300-watt panel generates about 300 watt-hours of power per hour of sunlight. If your location gets an average of 5 peak sunlight hours a day, a single panel can produce 1.5 kilowatt hours per day. To meet the air conditioner's daily demand of 8.4 kilowatt hours, you'd need at least 6 panels of 300 watts each. But there's a catch. Solar panels don't operate at 100% efficiency. Dust, shading, and temperature variations can reduce their output by 15% to 20%. To account for these losses, you'll need a couple of extra panels, bringing the total to around 8 panels. But what happens if you want to run your air conditioner at night? That's where battery storage comes in. A system without batteries can only power the AC during the day, so if you want cooling after sunset, you'll need enough battery capacity to store the energy generated during the day. Let's talk about batteries. To run the air conditioner for eight hours at night, you'd need to store the full 8.4 kilowatt hours of energy. A typical 12 volt battery with a capacity of 200 ampere hours can store around 2.4 kilowatt hours of energy. So to power your air conditioner overnight, you'd need at least four batteries. But keep in mind, batteries are not 100% efficient. Some energy is lost during charging and discharging. To ensure uninterrupted cooling, you might need five or six batteries in total. 
And of course, a charge controller is essential to manage the energy flow between your panels, batteries, and air conditioner. And Maximum PowerPoint Tracking Controller is the best choice for maximizing efficiency. Let's put this into perspective with a real-life example. Suppose you live in a sunny location like Arizona, where you get an average of six peak sunlight hours daily. To power your 1.5-ton air conditioner, you'd need around eight solar panels and five batteries. This setup would allow you to run the AC during the day and store enough energy to keep it going at night. Now, what if you live in a cloudy region with only four peak sunlight hours? In that case, you'd need more panels, around 12 in total, to generate the same amount of energy. Alternatively, you could reduce the runtime of your air conditioner or invest in a more energy-efficient model to lower the energy demand. These adjustments show how flexible solar systems can be. By carefully calculating your energy needs and optimizing your setup, you can create a system that's both reliable and cost-effective. Solar panels and batteries can be a significant investment, so let's talk about cost. An eight-panel setup with five batteries might cost between $10,000 and $15,000, depending on the quality of the components. While this may seem expensive upfront, consider the long-term savings. Running an air conditioner for eight hours a day can cost hundreds of dollars per month in electricity bills. Over time, a solar-powered system can pay for itself while giving you the freedom to enjoy cooling without worrying about rising energy costs. Plus, don't forget about the environmental benefits. Switching to solar power significantly reduces your carbon footprint, making your home more sustainable and environmentally friendly. So, how many solar panels does it take to power an air conditioner? The answer depends on your specific energy needs location, and system design. But with the right calculations and components, you can enjoy cooling that's powered entirely by the sun. Whether you're looking to go off-grid or just reduce your electricity bills, investing in solar power for your air conditioner is a smart move. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips and insights on solar energy off-grid living, and sustainable solutions. Have questions about your setup? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.